Hi, my name is Mark Renz and I'm here today to talk to you about how to identify common tansy, which is an invasive plant found in Wisconsin. It's been in Wisconsin for many years. It's been sold as an ornamental plant. Uh, currently, though, this plant is restricted except for two cultivars of common tansy, Orium and Compactum, which can legally be planted. The others are restricted for use. Uh, this plant is a herbaceous plant that's a creeping perennial that spreads clonally and is very common in northern Wisconsin and becoming more common in southern Wisconsin. Uh, it's fairly easy to identify this plant. It invades prairies, roadsides, pasture areas, and disturbed areas. Uh, we look first at the leaf, which is quite distinctive, and then it is pinnately compound, um, has quite a bit of teething on the edges of those leaves. But really, if you crush that leaf and smell that odor, that's really a distinct, aromatic, bitter smell to it that's quite unique and, and is a good key to identifying it. Looking at the stems, we have uh, woody stems that sometimes have hair on them, but typically they do not. If we look at the basal part of the stem, what we see with the basal part is, is that we can have some brown to red spots or spots on there that are quite distinctive as well. But really looking at the flowers, as we can see here, they have these button-like inflorescences, which may look like flowers, but are actually many flowers that are quite distinctive and easy to identify. So again, breaking up that leaf, smelling that leaf, and looking at the flowers are your two best cues to ide identifying this plant. There is a native plant that looks similar to this, but it's only found on the beaches of the Great Lakes. Uh, and in that case, we'd ask that you consult a book to help with the identifying those species. Uh, thanks, and good luck with identifying common tansy.